Right, good morning YouTube. Uh, today I just want to show you uh, how we are going to set up a uh, power generator and automatic transfer switch for this house where, where we're in. So basically what we have to do is set the generator up, put the oil in, put the fuel in, do the wiring and then we have to wire the transfer switch so basically that it's on the mains power while there is a, a, a government power coming in as soon as the power goes out it automatically switches to the, uh, to the generator uh, this, is, this equipment a customer bought uh, it's a 5 kilowatt uh, generator power mate um, quite decent uh, generator if he asked me I would go for a little bit uh, more powerful one for this house although this house is just like a vacation house so I think it's going to be all right the biggest concern for this customer is uh, because this is a flooding area is uh, that uh, his sub pumps have the power all the time and his shutters for the doors they have power all the time so what we're going to do is wire generator to the box and then we have to run one let me just show you and then we have to run the wires from the box up on the wall around around all the way around up into the house up into the house to the uh, power board to the, to the fuse board basically so that's what we're going to do so let's start slowly so first thing what I what I've done is connected the, the battery to the generator put some fuel and oil so now it's ready ready uh, uh, to start and the next thing is going to be this transfer box so you see what we have here we have a city power input we have our power output and we have a generate generator input and then at the bottom we have our signal cable it's a five, five core signal cable and we have the the button only one button for the automatic and the manual so now let me start running some trunkings where all the cables are going to go in and We'll go from there. Okay, so we're nearly finished with laying the trunking all the way around. So that's where the trunking is going. All the way around, outside, around the 
wall and inside over there. Right, now we're going to start to run the wires. As you can see, it's right pain in the because these are 10 millimeter single single core cables so they will go all the way up there inside that conduit so now we have to put them in inside that trunking and clip the cover on right so we finished wiring our box so the wires go into that conduit all the way all the way around and up up into the house so we're going to finish for today all this is ready wires are ready well uh, we have to go to another job now so we're going to call it a day on this one and uh, tomorrow what we have to do is just connect the wires up into the main fuse board uh, then we have to sort the exhaust out so basically from here we have to make some kind of a fitting to go to the uh, exhaust pipe outside and then what's left is to try everything so we'll continue tomorrow and we'll see how it goes Okay, so this is where we are going to connect our cables to the main fuse board. At the moment I'm installing the uh, main breaker, uh, two-pole main breaker. So the idea is basically, if you can see them, two black cables, that's the main power coming in. So basically they are going to go into the bottom of that uh, two pole breaker and then at the top of that uh, breaker the wires what goes to the transfer switch box are going to be connected so basically at the moment that you, you can see I'm connecting the wires what basically goes down into the basement into the transfer switch box and then the other two uh, set of uh, wires they are coming back from that transfer switch box and then they're going to be connected to these china connectors basically going to supply the entire fuse board Okay, now I'm going to test uh, the wires to see which one is live and which one is neutral. I'm using a pen tester. It's a really handy small tool. I recommend that to all electricians to, to have that in their uh, toolbox. Uh, so once I determine which one is live and which one is neutral, at the moment this is the neutral wire, uh, but they are both live so we are working here live which I wouldn't recommend uh, if you are not absolutely sure uh, of what you are doing so this is the neutral wire it goes into the neutral side of the two pole switch or the breaker and then after that I'm going to fit the live wire the same way by wiring this way basically the entire house is going to be connected to a generator if the power goes off uh, as I said, the power of this generator is 5 kilowatts, which is, let's say, enough for this house because it's just a, a holiday house. They're using this house maybe for like 
I don't know, a couple of times a, a month and that's it. And it's a two bedroom house, so it's not that, <laughs> not that uh, demanding for the power. Right, well, now we have everything connected. Down here, transfer switch up in the main fuse board. And now we're going to do a first test. John is upstairs with the walkie-talkie and when I tell him he's going to switch the power off to the house. Okay, switch it off. Okay. Okay, uh, so this was another interesting installation as you have a chance to see on this, uh, in this video. So I just want to sum it up now. Basically what we've done here is we installed a power generator and a transfer switch box uh, for the entire house. You saw how we run the wires all the way around where we put the generator, where we put the uh, transfer box and all that. The idea of this uh, customer uh, was basically because this area is uh, known for its uh, uh, floods and power cuts. So it's really important for him when the power is off that his uh, submersible pumps are uh, functional. So that was the whole idea but as I said the customer bought this uh, equipment and it is a bit oversized for only two uh, submersible pumps uh, but I think it's a little bit low on power for entire house if they put everything on in, in, in the house which I doubt they will do. Anyways uh, you saw the principle of how it works basically the main power for the house goes into the double fall breaker. From that breaker, it goes down into the basement, into the transfer switch uh, on the input side. On the output side, it's going back into the main fuse board and then it's distributed through the house. And on the other side of that fuse, uh, on that uh, transfer box, uh, we hooked up the generator. So, as the power goes off, the main power goes off, the generator kicks in and the power goes into the house, so the entire house has uh, electricity. Uh, now this generator has a procedure where if it fails to start immediately, it starts after 5 seconds another attempt and then if it, does, if it fails, it starts after 5 seconds again. If it fails 3 times, it just uh, blinks a failure uh, and when the power comes back uh, it waits for 10 seconds it keeps the generator running for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it switches to the main power to back to the main power 
and cut the generator off. So if you like this video, if it helped you in any way, please subscribe to my channel, uh, press that like button and of course leave the comments down below if you have anything to say about this video, what, what would you do differently or if you have any kind of a questions, feel free to leave down in the comments. Till next video, bye.